Hello friends, in this video, let's see how to fill the launch pad for your Infosys joining. So these are the pre-requests required before you fill the launch pad. So watch the video till the end to know about each and every step to complete your launch pad. So you will receive your launch pad mail before a month of your joining. So this is the launch pad interface, the first page you see. And here are the various details you need to fill to get your onboarding pass. Make sure to fill the launch pad carefully with all the details. Initiate your background verification as early as possible of you, after you receive your launch pad uh, because this helps to complete your onboarding quickly. Here you can see all and pending status, pending sessions that you need to fill. The first step is filling your personal details, fill all the personal details here and domicile is state where you were born and click on update. The next session is family details, click on add new member and add your family details there. So remember to include the immediate family members like mother, father or sibling, husband or spouse. Next section is about disability details select yes or no click on update next the most important section is the educational details so this helps your background verification so here you have to fill your three education details like graduation inter and 10th so in the graduation details here there are some details in ash color they are frozen so you you need not to change any details there so fill the other mandatory details and coming down you can see your semester wise uh, records here so select each semester and give your cgpa and the maximum marks if your marks in the cgpa select 10 cgpa and your obtained marks like 8.2 7.2 there and fill all the eight semester details here so here the percentage will be automatically calculated you need not to worry about that after that you have to upload your semester wise mark sheets or memos here click on attach supporting document here you have two different options like semester wise mark sheets and consolidated mark sheet so if you select semester wise mark sheet there you have to upload your degree certificate provincial certificate and all the semester wise mark sheet memos there so if you don't have degree certificate no worries it is an optional field but pc is the mandatory next option is consolidated mark sheet here you know, need not to upl upload your semester wise mark sheet only pc and consolidated mark sheet is enough and degree certificate is optional after uploading your memos there the graduation section will be completed be careful while filling each details coming to 12th enter your details and upload your 12th memo here And next your 10th details and upload your 10th memo here check your detail twice before submitting next section is NSR details in our channel there is a detailed video about how to create your NSR card and download so go through the video and fill the NSR related details here and upload your NSR card. Click on proceed. Next section is passport details. So if you have a passport, click on yes and fill all the required passport details here. And if you didn't have passport, please apply to the passport when you got your offer letter and uh, even at least be ready with the application receipt of your passport and show it. Here attach your front and back page of the passport if you Next have. section is click on pan update. card details. Enter your pan card details here and attach your pan card PDF format. So if you don't have pan card, you can also upload your e pan card here. Click on proceed. The next section is about your other details. So enter your order details carefully and click on update. Next section is achievements or extracurricular activities. 
this is an optional field you can fill it or skip it for now and the next section is your bank account details so this is a mandatory session uh, because your salary is going to credit in this uh, details in which you are provided Infosys allow you to create account in access or ic ic bank so create account if you already created click on yes and select the bank in which you took your salary account and fill all the details correctly and check it twice and click on update the next section is your medical details so you will get a mail regarding this uh, medical details the test you are going to take and the uh, hospitals where you have to take the test and upload all the details here and upload the medical certificate you have taken click on update make sure medical certificate in the is in the given format the next section is nats and uan details so in our channel there is a detailed video about nats and uan go through the video and fill the details here and then you can see different yes or no questions keep no for all the questions and the bpot form you can download your bpot form after you complete your launch pad next initiate your bgb in this section you can see what the pending and completed sections you have done if there is any pending sections please go visit the session and complete as soon as possible and click on initiate background verification so here you can see the address details fill all the address details carefully later the next section is nomination details so here you have to give your nominee details like your mother and father and give 50 50 percentage as you like the next section is documents for onboarding here in the plus mark you have to upload a document it is nothing but the offer letter so print out the offer letter all the pages and sign on the offer letter at the bottom sign on the every page of the offer letter at the bottom and fill the blanks in the offer letter make a pdf and upload here the next section is aspiration session so here the interested area and aspiration fields can be skipped and you have to fill the location preferences here so you have given three location options so uh, select three different locations of your choice and click on proceed in the last session of the launch pad is statutory forms in this session you are going to do nothing just open the statutory form and click on acknowledge and you can see a tick mark at the end so fair, make all the forms acknowledged and complete your launch pad if you take your laptop personal laptop with you fill your laptop details in one of the statutory form thank you for watching the video please subscribe the channel for more updates and comment down your queries